welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a short video together today, just running through a common fault on this 2010 Vauxhall Insignia. Uh, it's a 2 litre CDTI. Basically, we've got the engine light on, it's in permanent limp mode, it's got no boost at all. And the fault code that we've got is P2453, which relates to the DPF pressure sensor. And I'm just going to run you through the set, where the sensor is located, how to replace it, and the, the, and the issue that we had with clearing the fault. It's not as straightforward as just replacing the sensor, that's all. So, uh, but yeah, I'll just get under the bonnet and just show you where the sensor is located and how to replace it first. Then we'll move on to the next step after that. Now, if you check out the links in the description below, I'll put a link to the sensor and where you can get them from as well. We'll just see at the minute just got the top engine cover off if you just come down the back really easy to replace all you need is a little flat bladed screwdriver you can just push the yellow tab back that will allow you to then push that pin in there to simply pull the connector off you've just got a 10 mil nut holding it on there and once you get the sensor out you just have a little clip just on the bottom just holding this pipe on there now originally it had like a one-time fit clip so you needed to cut it off with a pair of snippers and I've just replaced that with a little Jubilee clip. So as you can see, it's really straightforward to replace. Um, but once replacing it, the fault code does need clearing. So I'm just going to run you through in a minute. So you can't, uh, you can't just clear the code. It won't let you clear it straight away, that's all. Now, basically with a scanner, I'm using the snap-on scanner, to start with, I'd clear the code, and then instantly, as soon as you read the fault codes again, the fault was still there. And initially, um, the issue that it was having with this, the engine light was on, but it was in permanent limb mode as well. Um, but on the scanner, you'll need a decent scanner to do this. Um, basically, you've got the basic codes to, to read the codes there, but you've got functional tests. And there's basically an option on there to just it sort of calibrates the new sensor, that's all. You can just see we've got DPF pressure sensor alarm and you needed to run through that procedure um, to do that first and then go back into the fault codes and then it would allow you to clear the fault codes properly. Now that that's cleared, it's back to full power as well. So just thought I'd put the video together in case it helped anyone with the same issue. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.